UMS flow well. Performance under pressure. Pick up the first bypass tubing joint, complete with re-entry guide, with the swivel lift nubbin, and run the joint through the rotary table. Open the front gate on the work table, and move it into position as shown. Adjust the bypass tubing joint height, so that the indicator mark is approximately one foot above the top surface of the table. Fit the bypass safety clamp onto the bypass joint as shown. Remove the swivel lift nubbin. Use a lifting clamp to pick up the first ESP section, which consists of the motor, ESP gauge, and motor base plug. Position the motor alongside the bypass tubing, and orientate such that the vertical bypass line drawn on the motor, is aligned correctly with the bypass tubing. Position the ESP, so that the bottom of the motor base plug, is in line with the space out paint marking on the bypass tubing. Fit the first bypass tubing clamp to the motor base plug. Pick up the second bypass tubing joint, with the swivel lift nubbin, and make it up to the first bypass tubing joint. Remove the bypass safety clamp. Lower the bypass tubing and ESP simultaneously, until the end of the second section of bypass tubing is at working height. Fit the bypass safety clamp to the second section of bypass tubing. Remove the swivel lift nubbin from the second section of bypass tubing. Lift the third section of bypass tubing into position, and make it up to the second section. Remove the bypass safety clamp. Lower the bypass tubing and ESP simultaneously, until the ESP lift clamp lands on the work table. Refit the bypass safety clamp. Remove the swivel lift nubbin. Pick up the second section of ESP, and install it onto the first section. Lift the fourth section of bypass tubing into position, and make up. Remove the ESP clamp. Install the MLE cable. Install the second bypass tubing clamp, and retain the MLE cable. Remove the bypass safety clamp. Lower the entire assembly downward, until the next bypass tubing clamp position is at working height. Install the third bypass tubing clamp, and retain the MLE cable. Continue to lower the assembly, until the fourth section of bypass tubing is at working height, relative to the table. Refit the bypass safety clamp. Remove the swivel lift nubbin, and install the fifth section of bypass tubing. Remove the bypass safety clamp. With the fifth section of bypass tubing successfully installed, lower the entire assembly, until the ESP clamp lands on the table. Lift the third section of the ESP into position, and install it onto the second section. Remove the ESP clamp. Install the fourth bypass tubing clamp, and retain the MLE cable. Lower the entire assembly until the fifth section of bypass tubing is at working height, relative to the table. Refit the bypass safety clamp. Remove the swivel lift nubbin from the fifth section of bypass tubing. Lift the sixth and final section of bypass tubing into position, and make up. Remove the bypass safety clamp. Lower the entire assembly until the ESP clamp lands on the table. Refit the bypass safety clamp, and remove the swivel lift nubbin from the bypass tubing. Pick up the Y-tool assembly. Ensure that the Y-tool assembly, is correctly aligned and orientated, relative to the ESP and bypass tubing. Lower the Y-tool assembly, and make up the discharge head to the pump head. Remove the ESP clamp. 
make up the telescopic swivel joint to the bypass tubing. Remove the bypass safety clamp. Remove the ESP work table. Fit the final bypass tubing clamp onto the discharge head neck and retain the MLE cable. Lower the Y tool body to a working height. Secure the MLE cable to the Y tool body with clips. Continue to run in the hole and secure with slips. To find out more about our ESP bypass and Y tool installation equipment, please contact sales at umsflowwell.com.